Have you ever seen a scene with bones everywhere? There is a mysterious village in the mountains of Hubie. The local old man bluntly said that this is a bandit cave. That's a lot of human bones. Ah, it's been so many years. As soon as it rots, the insects will be out. Quite a lot. Build a high wall at the entrance of the cave. The hole is unfathomable. People in the rivers and lakes call it Wrinkle Village. So where does the tunnel deep inside the village lead? What kind of confusion have you experienced? Come with me into the cave today to find out what's going on. This was an ancient pass road in the past. Directly connected to this bandit village of the Cree family. Now Aji and Ahu have arrived at the entrance of the cave. This village is located under a cliff. The terrain can be said to be very dangerous. There is a Grand Canyon in front of us. There is also a sinkhole below this canyon. There is a road opposite. This location is called Siju Village, Yuanbao Township. If you have a chance, you can come and take a look. It's really special, spectacular, and majestic. Let's see what this cave entrance looks like. Arranged. Wow. Sure enough, there is nothing wrong with what the old man said. This is a big stone wall, but this rough stone ridge was used. His stone wall is half built. There is something left about the entrance of the cave. Such a window for natural lighting. The overall hole is very large. His oral and facial area is almost 80 square meters. There is a stone gate here. The width is about about 1 meter 2. This city wall is 4 meters thick. This is the wood used above. If I look at the wood this way, it uses this cypress tree and sumac. They are all very strong miscellaneous trees. Let's look at this village gate again. Wow, this bluestone has everything on it. Ground very very smooth. This shows that there are many people entering and leaving the village, because it's not very difficult to get here. So, there are relatively more people coming here. Okay, let's enter the village, take a closer look inside the sub, can see this. The village gate extends all the way to the entrance of the cave. There is a staircase next to it, and then there's a wooden fence here. Let's go up these stairs. Look at the top of this city wall. What? Look at what kind of scenery there is on this city wall. Let's take a look. It's not all stone. It is made of stones on both sides and filled with soil in the middle. Did you see that? Yes. This feels very solid. It's a little narrower up here. He is about 2.5 meters tall. It is arranged in the shape of a trapezoid. Built upwards. Ah, if you look at it here, it has a slope. This kind of structure is relatively stable. Let's look at the cave entrance again. The entrance to this cave is very, very flat. There is a well from a distance there. Where are the people in this bandit village of the Creek family? A well for collecting water. There is a fence here. Maybe it's normal. Raise some livestock or a former wooden house. It's possible, but there are only a few fence posts available now. A very crude fence. Okay, let's not talk much at this time. Go straight into the depths of the cave to find out what's going on. Walk. This is the city we are outside. The well seen on the wall. It looks very clean and thorough now. We see this is a typical cast cave. The walls of this cave are made of limestone. There are many nests on the ground too. These treasure hunters are so pervasive. Let me show you the tunnel. When we get here, it's divided into two floors. There are steps up here. And here it is a relatively flat tunnel. Can see that. At the corner. Very profound. Let's move on. Judging from this wall, this Cree family bandit village was built very hastily. This horse's skills are really not very good. It can be said that the craftsmanship is not as good as mine. We built a wall here. This is probably where people sleep. There are tiles here. There are many tiles. Let me show them to you. This is the previous one. Sign tile. This is the most traditional civil structure. That thatched house in our old society. Make up that mud house. The kind of tile made by the first batch of craftsmen. Very useful. This kind of tile. I don't know why there are tiles in here. Because there is no rain here. Quite confused. Let's continue going deeper into the cave. We are now more than 100 meters into the cave entrance. There's another well here. This water is very clear to the bottom. Oh, it's quite pretty. This one. 
This water comes from above. It drips like this. This feeling is very beautiful. The tunnel becomes very narrow here. Mainly very short. This cave has become very short, but it seems there is still a way forward. There are traces of someone walking down here. Let's move on. There is water here. This water resource is quite abundant inside this cast cave. Keep going. This is a very narrow corridor. It's possible this was dug manually. For example, take this gravel. This kind of tunnel was formed after knocking out the stalactites. Wow, it's very narrow here. It's very narrow here. Can be seen. Have to crawl in. It's very narrow here. This should be it. The door stone that the village committee secretary mentioned. I want to push it in. It's better to push it in like this. If he gets stuck, you can still crawl forward. Right. Good. I'm in now. There's a lot of space in here. It's gotten bigger. The space here has gotten bigger. He just has a very narrow threshold. You can stand up here. Come over. I just climbed from here. If you come here, you can see that there is a small hall over here. Small cave hall. And this is how the cave goes up. There is a walkway here. You can hear it over here. What's the voice of a who and the others talking over there? Wow. Is it so big? There is also a wooden ladder here. There are probably very few people coming here. The one that's sometimes red and sometimes blue. That's little Xiamang. It's very foggy here. Very humid. But there are beautiful stalactites like this. This kind of environment. Let's move on. Look at this wooden ladder. Come here. This is the main staircase. Is there a tunnel up here? No tunnel. But why is there this wooden ladder here? Don't understand. There are huge stalactites here. Very beautiful from top to bottom. Wow, there's a lot of space in here. The height here is almost 20 meters. Then there is a tunnel leading up to the top of the cave. But I can't seem to climb up. The very interesting thing here is that. Digging a hole like this. I don't know what this is for. Maybe it's a burglary hole. Do you see it? A burglary hole. The depth is probably more than one meter. This era has been very long ago. You can see that the soil has. This saltpeter powder is generally white in color. There's a cave here. Let's keep going. It's rather narrow up here. This hole is sometimes wider and sometimes narrower. Such a structure. Let's see where this hole leads to. Keep going. It seems like someone has walked through this trace here. There's this one over here. Ladder. Let's move on. The passage here is very narrow. I'm going to go up and take a look, because here is this step that this person stepped on. I'll go up and take a look. Can. It's very narrow here. Just enough for one person to pass. Wow. Wow this way. Put the camera up and take a look. Oops. It's very narrow here. It's narrow. We can see that it's not wide at the top. Maybe these are villages from the past? I knocked stalactites here. It's such a small hall. There are some goose pipes in there. The passage here is a dead passage. Let's continue to explore other channels. Let's go back the same way we came to explore other channels. What about the hall with the burglar's cave? There is a passage to his right. 
they just discovered that there is a cave here on the left. For example, the right side when we come in. Let's go down and take a look. Take a look at the treasure house of the Cree family bandit village. Where exactly? Go down and have a look. Go and have a look. This is a small water crack. Huh? Let me tell you something. At the corner of this fire pit, usually you will find a lot of bones. These things. It might be animal bones, or it might be white bones. So doing this. At the first pool of the fire pit, be careful. Don't step on that bone. It will be bad. Let's move on. The crack is very narrow. Possible. Just 30 or 40 centimeters wide. But we can still go. Not easy to walk. It seems to be getting narrower and narrower in front. What about after getting here? This crack has basically already appeared. You can see that the front is very, very narrow. A moon seam. A crack. Look here again. Here is a shaft going down. I wonder what's underneath this shaft. Let's go down and explore. Here is a not too deep shaft. Can do it with bare hands, but don't imitate. In this hole, encountered in various situations. I took a look here. He is a such a fire pit is almost 2 square meters in size, then there was no passage to continue elsewhere. For example, it is already peaceful here, this is the channel. Okay, give me the camera and show it to everyone. Look at this below. This shaft is not very wide. Almost more than 2 square meters, then it has been used here and you can see. Well, the water below this disappears like this. Wow, do these two pieces have bones? See no bones. Bone claw. Generally, if there is a hole in the cave, he will be in this place where the dark river disappears. In this pool of water. But nothing was found. Let's go back the way we came. Here I checked the shaft. It ends here. In other words, this Jew family bandit was here when he came in. Yes, almost. Two branch holes. There are two branches to enter this hall, but the left and right sides are not very deep. It's just a natural cave. It's not as deep as some villagers said, and there weren't too many relics found inside. That's the part of the city wall. It's possible this. What about the people in the Cree family bandit village at that time? He didn't come here. Ah, have you ever carried out production activities? That's it for this video. Follow me to show you more beautiful scenery. Bye bye.